that's what this is about this discipline and this mindset of of, of research and this mindset of, of keeping an open mind and this mindset of understanding risk that's where you no one wants to hear this everybody wants to hear you make money by predicting the future but oh, if you if we ever predicted at the firm oh my god he would have shot yeah, us. right like that was a predicting is a dirty word man yes no that's what people think though they think that that you're going to make money by predicting the future and, and i constantly preach this that's not how you're going to make money okay you're going to make money by having this mindset of risk control and of process and all this and it's it's just such a pleasure to hear that that bill o'neill thought the same exact way although it's not a surprise because every successful trader that i've ever known has that exact same mindset which quite frankly is why i have it because i'm just copying them i'll try to learn <laughs> listen to what the best did and try very hard to do that you know well, that's why i said at the beginning and i'm serious like you know i'm not i say this all the time any to anyone who will listen read all of the entire market uh, wizard series over and over and over again your chapter everyone's chapter and really try to find what you can relate to i mean it's really that simple is is fine okay jason does this bill did this and david did that and you know all the different folks in there linda did this and and just you know pick and choose make sure that you're going with the grain like never fight yourself and if you're thinking about your trades at night, boy, man, you got some problems because your position sizing is wrong. If you're thinking, geez, I can't wait to wake up to buy more of X, Y, Z, or geez, I've got so much of this. What happens if this happens? You need to dial it back. You need to adjust things um, because it, you want to be comfortable. This should be fun. I always tell people, like, don't make this out to be something hard. It should be fun. And so if it's hard and not fun, Take your account. Let's say you've got whatever it is. You know, you've got ten thousand dollars. You got a hundred million dollars. Anything in between, dial it back down. Just take five or ten percent of that money. Start trading that. Put the other amount into CDs into cash and trade with that. Try to learn and try to enjoy yourself. Try to do the right trades. Then, as you're proving yourself, slowly take that money out of the cash account and slowly, not all at once, slowly. Put it into your trading account. Keep it fun because you know. Otherwise, you can just give your money to someone else to trade. You know, if you're doing this yourself, it should be an enjoyable thing. Are you going to be stressed out at times? Yeah. Are you going to be excited at times? Yeah. But try to dial it back. Like you know, I never saw Bill. Um, you know, I never saw what he how he did in the market on his face. Like you would never know. I would know that man. He just got killed today, or he just killed it today. I would know, but you can never read it on his face. And I've always tried to mimic that because you see the people are just high five and, oh, I'm doing great, blah, 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 or they're down in the dumps. Just try to keep it even keel, you know, because there's going to be ups and downs in the market and you're going to think you're a superstar. You're not. You're going to think you're the worst trade in the world. You're not. You know, you're somewhere in between. And um, just keep it fun.